Ooh, what is up guys and welcome to a shameless video from your troll of course is Karander because let's face it making these videos are a really really shameless plugin but quite frankly I only do this video if I feel I have something to share with you and something to add to the conversation and I waited a little bit before releasing this because I didn't want to be outmaneuvered by the bigger guys because let's face it they are on par with you know their first reaction i actually wanted this to kind of boil down a little bit and just really really talk about that before i actually release anything by it because we're gonna do a bit of a speculation here about the new pokemon that you guys see the new ultra beast which are revealed we're gonna go over what was showcased here and how that affecting the meta and just overall the little bit of story we did get and what it could mean for future installment or quite frankly this particular installment that said, go. Uh, if you haven't seen the trailer, make sure to do that first, because we have spoilers ahead. Uh, or not possibly spoilers, but quite frankly, if you haven't seen anything yet, make sure to see that trailer, because that video will give you so much more than this ever could, and I really mean that. So with that said, let's see what I got to bring to the table. First of all, they did showcase in the Crossma video here. Now, we're not going to uh, cover the Necrozma parts all too much. All we really can say here is something that Icky Sprite, a friend of mine from Twitter, was saying actually a few months ago that it's very, very likely that Necrozma actually is a parasitic monster that does take over uh, Solgaleo and Lunala. So they're not a combined form. These forms are Necrozma's forms, stealing them with a parasitic mind. So one could really say that the mouth parts or gems in Necrozma, as we can assume, are its mouth part or possibly its head actually are assembly as an emblem on both Sol Galil and Nala and taking them basically over so one could really assume that uh, there are fighting between one another Necrozma is winning taking their powers and most likely are open up to portals to the Ultra Beast where are showcased their individual the extra ones so one could really assume that Necrozma is possibly an evil animal for this well I could say game but it could very likely be the good guy too we don't necessarily know what type of twist is coming on here but this is definitely the focus of the game that the crossma is something more than just uh, a wild being in the game it is most certainly the focus of the game and quite frankly my best guess here is that it's able to absorb light therefore since the both reflect light both lunala and solgaleo are reflecting you know the beings of light that it can easily swallow them whole and uh, reflect them back with something else. So, yeah, my idea here is that Necrozma is going to open up the Ultra Beast portal or the other dimension, basically, and that's going to be the focus of the game, and we're going to hopefully explore that world a lot more than we did in the previous game. Quite frankly, it was just the end game there, and it really didn't bring anything to the table, so this is a good way of introducing it, if so. But, you know, as always, give Rick and Froze for a loop, and quite frankly, this is all we got story base, and it doesn't... It is not the meat of the video for this particular video, if anything. What is the meat of the video, though, is uh, actually two things. We have the Rock Rock distribution, with actually gives us a very, very, very interesting thing here. Um, as you guys know, the Duskroom was revealed as a new form for Rock Rock, and it was only exclusive to Sun and Moon, the Ultra variant of it. And we get already a shifting nature here, and that is that on the um, release of this Pokemon, it will have on Sun, Fire Fang, and Moon, Thunder Fang. And it's kind of enforced already that Fire Fang brings more to a rock typing already, making the Sun variant by default better due to, of course, already the Tough Claw variant on the Dusk form. Since it is a special distribution, we know already that this cannot be caught in the wild, which will mean we have no hidden ability for the Dusk Rock Ruff, which will mean that possibly two abilities, one being, of course, the Tough Claw, is the only one available. So no hidden ability for the Dusk form as of now. And also to be said that the biggest reveal here that they didn't talk about was the happy hour on both of them. The reason happy hour is such a big thing is because if you've seen my videos with happy hour Malamar, see happy hour boost your every stat by one. And this could really help. Uh, we also get to you know, see the new um, C move for all the rock rough, I was gonna say, but no Lycan Rock. The Splinter Storm Shot, which are exclusive to only Lycan Rock and uh, well basically nullifies terrain whether that's viable or not is debatable it is faster than most of the tapus uh, barring of course um what do you call it the um, the tapu koku so it could be a good variant for slower priority i guess 
to kind of nullify it. It has a more use as a VGC, but VGC is bulkier, so Lycanroc might not fit the bar there anyway, but it's good as the option is there. It will at least push Lily down a little bit. And quite frankly, I think due to the happy hour alone, that uh, Lycanroc will be much, much more desirable, but all should be stated, it has the four move slot issues, so reducing that to three might nerf it quite, quite well, quite a lot. So we just have to see. But as of right now, Lycanroc gets some love and gets some very, very needed love. And definitely looking forward to see this Pokemon how it tra will transpire in the Dusk form lately. But the biggest part of the video is, of course, the Ultra Beast. Now, they showed us two Ultra Beast forms. The first one being the Assembly variant. And uh, yeah. A lot, you know, we always jump to conclusion what it's based on, and or at least what kind of typing is it, because Neo Lego did throw us off quite a bit. Of course, being there, it made sense. Is it was a glass manatee or manite or jellyfish, so it was definitely poisonous, and it was definitely for some reason rock. Uh, would never have guessed it in in a million years. So with that in mind, whatever I say here might not matter. Uh, we did see the trail that it did use Iron Defense, so that's something to go with mine. It's definitely a bulkier Pokemon. One could really assume that from the get-go, and it looks like it peeks out. Every individual brick here seems to be uh, a different being on its own, and everyone is an eye. Uh, so definitely based on a watchtower, and I do believe every eye is definitely the, <laughs> the definition of playing with the word watching. So with that in mind, it was definitely it is going to be a rock type. I am sure of this. Uh, medieval rock tower, and you guys can see on the right side here. Some people was predicting it to be a Jenga, and I was on that hype from the beginning till I realized that it's a watchtower. I thought it was an oven first too, or a stove or anything like that. But no, it most certainly is a watchtower. That's why the eyes are there in the first place. Uh, the, the question is rather lately though, is if it's a dual typing, and if so, what is it? Uh, and my best guess here is that it's psychic, so a rock psychic variant, much like um, the Sol Rock and um, Lunala, I was going to say, but can't Luna Lunatune. Um, with that said though, I only say that because it seems to be working in symbiosis, and both me and my friend Ikisra was kind of talking about this, that you know, since they're working together, it seems to be an entity uh, with a multiple monsters, it must be psychic. So rock psychic would be really, really cool. It's it's a bad defensive typing. Uh, definitely not going to take that away from anyone. But what could be interesting is that we get an idea and a concept that really, really can enforce this. And plus, with our defense and possibly beast boosting while KOing, it could very well be that this is a more buffed of bronze on And think about this. You're not immune to toxic. That's going to hurt you. That's going to hurt you quite a lot. But what this will bring to the table is that this could be a defensively very capable Pokemon. And with beast boosting, boosting your special defense while you go for iron defense while KO with metal burst and whatnot. Yeah, I, I can see this one working. I definitely can see this one working. And I'm looking forward to seeing this in action. Now, the biggest though was the, the second one because that was a lot more interesting in my opinion. Because this one was something that definitely needed to be seen and this was a burst ultra beast and uh, yeah as you guys can see there we have the jester and we have the puff mushrooms or the burst mushroom as they called um, we have these in sweden they call them puff svampar and um, <laughs> it doesn't sound as intimidating but burst mushrooms is something that really really is cool as you guys probably can assume it's a disco ball to some extent and I really think that you just play with that, that those prickles on them is spores, basically. So, um, while you saw the video, you really saw that the, the head was exploding. And I really love that. I really can't show the footage due to it being copyrighted. So, I actually are re-recording this due to it. Uh, but, um, yeah, as you guys can see on its neck there, we have a, we have a um, neck piece here, which definitely looks like the, chest, uh, the jester piece, as you guys can see there on the right side with the blue sea and a bear in his hand <laughs> it seems likely uh, it definitely looks like a gesture overall it has a movement like that you know it's and what i'm trying to implement here is that if these two have a combined type between one another it definitely should be psychic if the one was working in symbiosis with one another uh, this one is definitely gesture using illusions and magic and tricks to be able to entertain their um to entertain their um well what do you call it um, I can't remember the name, the guest I was going to say, but no, the audience, I'm sorry. But it seems to be something like that. 
and the burst mushroom part is basically me thinking this is could be poison because it brings spores that you know burst out uh, it's either a poison but I or it could also be grass and spreading the spore like that and uh, if Zodan is going to be psychic grass which would be really really a boring typing uh, I, I am much much for a psychic poison variant I really want this to be that and it spreads the spore and it treats as toxic instead of uh, like parasite like a bug grass variant so it's all speculation but yeah it's most certainly it's a burst mushroom that's for sure and um, the friend of mine, he's right, really wants, you know, the way he moved that he could be a fighting variant. And while I do, to some extent, agree with that, what I think it is, is basically what Jester does when they're revealing a trick. Like, haha. Um, so, <laughs> I look really silly while I said that. But um, that's what I think, at least. You know, as stated here, King Freak has fruited us out for a loop really, really a lot when it comes to typing. So, all I'm saying here are speculations. They're not confirmed whatsoever. What I can do, though, is speculate on what they're based on, and hopefully, we get some understanding what they're aiming with them. Because, quite frankly, the typings make sense that got revealed to us with other Ultra Beasts. It just we didn't think that far ahead. And this time, I'm actually trying. <laughs> I want to nail this one. That, that sounded sexual. Um, I really want to be right on this one. Not nailing. <laughs> I should probably re-record this. Nah, 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 nah this is gonna stay. But yeah, but this, uh, what do you guys think about these? You know, they were incredible to see that we get new Pokemons. For, for, this is the first time we're getting that. First time since a new um, side game basically actually treating us with new Pokemons that aren't Megas. Megas could be treated as new forms of Pokemon but this is this is straight out new Pokemon overall and uh, yeah I really looking forward to this I really want to know what you guys are thinking do you guys like the new Pokemon do you guys want to predict the typing to some extent if so make sure to write it down below and as always guys thank you for of course watching if you want to see more things like this I'll probably do it but as stated here I try to avoid being you know one of the first because it feels like such a cop-out and it feels even more like that if you're just reacting to the footage and not really thinking about it. It just feels like, oh, you see the man you can ride that! Who, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.